Welcome back. Today, I'm going to share a tip for how to manage your busy schedule so that you can stay on top of it. We're diving into Microsoft Outlook to unlock the power of color coding your calendar. Whether it's manual or automatic, I've got you covered in this video. Have you ever looked at your calendar and felt overwhelmed by the chaos? Whether you're managing meetings, deadlines, or personal appointments, color coding can help you keep track of everything at a glance. Color coding is a simple yet powerful tool that allows you to visually organize your schedule, prioritize tasks, and reduce stress. Let's get started by manually color coding your calendar. If I wanted to color code this particular meeting, I could just right click, choose categorize, and this is in regards to project B. It automatically changes to orange. This one is personal, so I'm going to right click, choose categorize, and choose personal, and automatically it changes to purple. And that's how you manually color code your calendar. You also have the ability to customize your categories. You can rename them, create new categories, and assign specific colors. To customize, just click all categories at the bottom. Now let's automate this process to save even more time by using rules to color code. This is great for scheduled meetings on a regular basis or recurring tasks. Go under view. And under view, you have the view settings, view, view settings. When I click on view settings, first I'm going to choose conditional formatting, add, I have to give it a name. I'm going to give it the word training because I want to see on my calendar all the instances of training. Then I can look at month view and I can see how much training I've done and when the training was. Here, I can choose a specific color. You'll notice that additional colors are available here. I'm going to choose the steel color. Then you add the condition. Now here, you can do a number of different options. You can type in for a specific search word. So in this case, I'm going to say anywhere where there's the word training in the subject line, I want that to be color coded. But you can also say organized by Let's say all the meetings organized by your manager, you want to color code a specific way. For our example, all the instances of training in my calendar, I want to display in that specific color. Click OK, click OK, and OK. Automatically, the project training here shows up. If I go to my month view, look at that. I can actually see when my training is throughout that month. Conditional formatting can save you so much time. If you have conditional formatting on your calendar and then you manually do it, the manual will always take precedence. So be careful when you're setting this up. The faster way to set it up is using conditional formatting. And then if any other instances, then you can do manual. But conditional formatting will automatically do it for you. You just have to enter a keyword or enter assigned by, etc. Use conditional formatting. It will save you a lot of time and allow you to organize and manage your calendar more effectively. Automatic color coding is a game changer for efficiency. Now your calendar updates based on your set rules. Here's some recommendations. Use consistent colors for similar events to build a visual pattern and limit your categories. Don't overdo the color coding. With these simple steps, you can manually and automatically color code your Microsoft Outlook calendar to keep your schedule organized and visually appealing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.